Okay guys, so I'm kind of in the mood at fixing stuff. I'm pretty pleased how I managed to mend this uh, pivot pin system here. It's been working out great so far. So this thing here, let's just uh, call it Log Grappler 6000. So I bought this thing about three years ago. Uh, I also made a short video about it as well. I will put that video up here somewhere. If you want to support the channel and are interested, then sure, watching them will make me happy. So I believe I paid about 450 bucks for the thing. I personally think I got a pretty good deal. After I hauled it home though, I instantly noticed that one of the cylinders was bust. It was spewing out hydraulic fluid like it had no seals at all. So I took the cylinder off and replaced it with this uh, manual adjuster thing here. And I realized I don't even need this still function. I did end up sending the cylinder back to the guy and I believe it took him like six months, but he did change out the seals for free. And when I got it back, I just put it in my tractor three point hit system and it, it's been over there ever since. So the main problem with this grappler I have and the reason I'm making this video about it are the pins and pushings on this thing. I mean, check this out. Every pin here is pretty toasty. The king pin here in particular is pretty toast and all the cylinder pins and pushings are pretty dead as well. So like I said, I paid 450 for the thing. You could get a brand new one for about 900 plus tax. That would be the smallest one you could buy though. This one here is a bit bigger and buying the exact model would cost about 1300 bucks plus tax. So me paying 450, I think it was a pretty good deal. I use it for three seasons now. And it's a very useful tool to get trees out of tight spots. The, the main reason I want to get it serviced. When I close this grappler, then that point will either contact this point or this point. It does not always go to the center and then I can fully close the grappler. And yeah, it's annoying. I have to go back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes like 10 times before it finally goes through the center hole. So that's the main reason I want to deal with this thing, because it's annoying to work right now. But enough of talk, let's start the rejuvenation process here. Uh, and hopefully it will be fun and cheap. Don't want to pour too much money on this thing. So the first things first, I got to disassemble the entire thing. And check out the damage on the pins and pushings and see what we can do here. I mean, if I was able to mend this for like, I don't know, $26, then I think I can manage this. So yeah, let's get to work. I found the hose. What is this doing here? Sometimes I don't even know what's going on. Wonder if this is damaged as well. 
I don't know, this looks okay. But yeah, this this is gone. Let's see what else we can uncover here. Wow, this thing is tight. More power. Ah, break my fingers with more power. The thing does not move. Whatever, I'm gonna leave it in there. Considering how much play there is, these things don't wanna come out. None of them wanna come out. That's why. Right. That's okay. Whatever. And the pin itself actually looks pretty good. Maybe I don't have to change out the pins and uh, just have to fix the bushings in there. Yeah, I mean this pin is a bit messed up here. Plus it's bent, you can see. <laughs> This thing has, doesn't have any grease options. So yeah, that's why this is destroyed so badly. Let's see what the dirt pin there is, how that is. I mean, it should come out by now. This, this looks pretty good. Yeah, this pin is perfectly fine. I don't see any groove marks at all. Down. That is pretty heavy. I have no idea what's going on there. This pushing is perfectly fine. You can see there's nothing wrong with it. Same deal on this side. This one, this one uh, won't come out, but it doesn't really need to come out. I can see that it's perfectly fine. Looks like we're in luck. Both these bushings are fine as well. Ah, freaking sand everywhere, bro. I need a better concrete floor, this is crap. I think the only issues are the one bin and the eye of the cylinder. Mm, this is pretty messed up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this because I don't really wanna change out the cylinder. Yeah, may need to. Do some thinking here. I don't really want to put a smaller pin there, considering how this 40 millimeter pin has bent up like this. So I don't really want to put a smaller pin there. But the eye of that cylinder is pretty messed up. Maybe I can find a 40 millimeter bushing in there and just weld it in there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the other pins and bushings are fine. So, one more thing to disassemble and the mother of all pins, the king pin. I already know it's pretty messed up because you can see the angle. It's not straight as it's supposed to be. But I'm thinking I'm not even gonna disassemble it. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna weld it 
straight. Instead of this thing here, I'm gonna weld some kind of tubing on this side. I don't even uh, have the tractor output to make it tiltable. So I was thinking I'm gonna make this a solid frame. Then I don't need to change out this kingpin. I'm just gonna try to weld this thing solid together so it's pointless for me to even disassemble the kingpin. I used this for a couple of years and not even once I saw that I need the tilt option. I mean it's pointless for me to fix the kingpin or change out the kingpin if I don't even plan on, on using that thing like this. Maybe I should just take it out of here, see how it is. Let's see if we can get it out of here though. I mean maybe it's not a big deal. This thing probably has not seen much grease in its lifetime. It... <sighs> yeah, I can't turn it. I would need to hammer it from this side. Hmm. If I got this off, I can hammer it that way, but... It will hit the wall and it won't go any further anyway. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nightmare to get this off and considering I'm not planning to use the damn thing, I'm just gonna weld it shut. I wonder if these are messed up as well. I mean, these look actually pretty nice. Yeah, I guess the pin is not riding on these holes. This was the bad one, but looks pretty good actually. My mo only concern is this cylinder eye here. I mean, you can even see the old bushing in here and half the bushing is just gone and half is still in here. So yeah, I wonder if this eye is removable. Maybe I can, maybe I can remove it from the cylinder. I don't think I will be able to get it out, but why are these things so heavy? I mean, it should probably be made out of plastic. Would not be so heavy. Uh, yeah, I don't think this will come out. I don't see any burn marks here. This thing has just been welded on here. I don't think it's moving. Don't really want to take this thing into a machine shop as well. Don't feel like spending 200 to 300 bucks on fixing just one thing for a piece of equipment that cost me 450 bucks as a complete unit. Yeah, I think that would make no sense. I'm definitely gonna get one pin here. I think this will be a no-brainer. Also, a couple of these, uh, I don't know what you call them, the, the things that go between the walls of the pins. Maybe that will remove some of the side slack. The only problem I have with this thing is the side slack. I mean this head looks like it's bent as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> How the hell does this even happen? But the cylinder is not leaking or anything, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, the, the entire head is bent that way. I'm pretty sure I'm unable to actually bend this thing back to its proper position. Wait a minute guys, I just remembered. I have another one of these cylinders. It should be the exact one on my tractor. Maybe that one is a bit better than this one. So this is the one that is messed up and this is the other one that is not messed up. But there is a problem here. So this one is a bit smaller. But check this out. This head has not been welded on, it's just... I don't think I have a large enough tool for this. Yeah, this is like 40. I do have like 41. No, it's, it's like 45 maybe. 46? Oh yeah. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. Why is it coming off so badly? What gives? What? Oh, 
it doesn't want to come off anymore. Oh yeah, I think it's coming now. Wait a minute, I didn't even check if the bushing is the right size. Oh my god, better hope this goes in here. Oh yeah. Okay, it goes in there I think, so. Where's my pipe? It's full of something, so I guess that's why it came out so hard. So my plan here is something that uh, inexperienced welder with crappy welding tools should probably never attempt here. So my idea is I'm gonna cut this piece out of here, weld this piece in here, I mean, maybe I can then screw this piece on the other cylinder. So yeah, that's my plan. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but... I mean, this eye is miles better than th this eye. Because if I fail, then both these cylinders are pretty much messed up. This is gonna be fun. So let's summarize up a bit. I got this pin here that probably needs to be replaced. I got this pin that definitely needs to be replaced. And maybe I need whatever you call these, pin, pin washers. Okay, be right back. So I got back from the hardware store, got the replacement for this pin, got the replacement for this pin. And for the washers or pin washers, I got a bunch of these. First of all, it's a bit taller. That's not a main problem here. The second uh, and probably most important reason is you can see that this end has been trimmed off slightly. What was the dirt problem again? Okay, I guess I don't have a dirt problem, just those two. And this end has been trimmed off slightly, so it can nicely fit in this... Uh, I don't know what you call this, pry, pry level thing that... I don't know, I have no idea how you call this thing. But this new pin, it will not go in here. It's a bit too thick. I guess one thing that I might be able to do is take this pin to a lathe. I have a lathe at my workplace, so I could just uh, trim it down a bit there. Eventually ended up taking it to work and my work buddy was kind enough to trim some material off for me. I only needed about 3 millimeters to be trimmed off. Didn't really want to dry myself. Lathe is a very dangerous tool if you don't know what you're doing. Maybe one day I will buy a lathe, but I'm kind of scared of that machinery. So I got this piece nicely milled out at the lathe. So this is the bushing that it's supposed to sit in. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice fit. By the way, I have no idea how I did not notice this before. But uh, one of the other cylinder pins is also bent. I'm not sure how well you can see this on camera. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. I'm guessing they bend because they have been hollowed out thanks to this crease fitting here. So I think that's the primary reason that these things have been bent. So this is the replacement for this one and I also went and bought a replacement for this one. And the third, this is completely straight and nice looking pin. I need to make sure that the rod is completely out because if the rod is completely in and I start doing very thick and uh, hot welding here, it's gonna mess up the seals.
probably should cover these things up as well. Make sure no contaminants get in there. So this is the new head that I'm planning to put on there. This is the new pin. Check how well this thing sits here. And this is perfect. So once I got this thing off, there is really no turning back. Maybe I will succeed here, who knows. I wonder if I can get this out of here. If so, maybe the threads are okay and I can just screw the thing on the other cylinder. Somewhere here maybe. It's not quite in the center. I mean, personally, I don't think I will be getting this thing out, but let's try, I don't know. Whoa, it's actually moving. I did not anticipate this at all. This is very good news. Wow, it actually goes there. Nice! Like I said, it doesn't matter that it's worn out. I will be using it at my tractor's 3-point hitch system. And for that, this is completely fine. Hmm. I'm thinking... I'm gonna weld this on top of here. Secure the eye here. Leave a small gap. If I just welded it on here like this, I don't think it's gonna last very long, I think it's gonna break off. I remember that last time it was really a pain to get this thing out of here. Let's see if we can actually manage this. Okay, that was easy. So yeah, this uh, bolt extraction kit is pretty good. If somebody is interested in this, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can buy this thing. So, yeah. Here goes nothing. Usually these types of jobs are meant for professionals. Definitely not gonna break the welds by my hands now, so let's try to get this thing on here, but the thread is kind of damaged. I do have this awesome uh, thread set, but the biggest one I have here is M22, and I'm thinking this is maybe like M26 or M28. So yeah, I'm not gonna go and buy the um, thread maker 2 million here. Just to fix this thread up. I'm pretty sure the M30 thread maker would probably cost about 100 bucks or so. Gonna need to do this without any thread. Fix her up. If I could just get it going slightly, I think that would be a huge help. I'm definitely talking too much. 
I need to shut up. Please go on here, please go on here, please go on here. I did end up removing punch of thread here because this thing would just not go on here. Okay, let's try to get this thing welded. Okay, so I think I actually managed this. I mean, the world isn't very nice, but I think uh, it's fine. Before I put this thing together, uh, let's finish a couple of things here. I'm gonna make sure that this thing will not move. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add a blade here and the same on the other side. I'm also gonna add some kind of a dubing here, just to make sure that this thing will not move sideways. Seems to fit here pretty well. Wow, that guy wanted to fly to orbit or something. Maybe something like this.
I think the frame is solid now. It's not gonna move. Got a hardened steel plate on this side, another plate on this side, and then I will that this uh, tubing here. This is five millimeter tubing, so kind of eyeballed it, but I think it's pretty straight. Think, uh, next step would be reassemble the thing. Yeah, let's do that. Do, 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 do. I totally forgot which way this thing went back together. Yeah, I, I can't remember which way this thing went back together. I don't know, let's, let's try something, maybe... Oh yeah, I need the cylinder as well. Yeah, I need to cut these things out now. Um, Oh, I need to also add the washers to get this side play out. There is a lot of side play. So I, so I need to add some washers. So these were the biggest washers that the store had, but they are uh, too small. I wonder if I can get them bigger this way. I don't know, let's try. I need to make sure that everything is nicely tight. Actually, actually I need to make sure that I don't talk so much. This is probably gonna fail, but whatever, let's try. Okay. Need to make sure that this is more tight. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, attempt, uh, I don't know, four. What is that guy doing there? Stop spinning, bro! Oh my god. I mean, it kinda is working, but... I got one done, which is nice. Very nice, tight fit. Mm, this is almost done. So I got three so far, I'm not gonna do any more right now, but at least I know this uh, setup here works. Okay. Close up view for you guys here. Tight, tight fit. I'm still think has a lot of play. Maybe I can squeeze one more here. I'm pretty sure before this thing would swing like 2 miles that way and 16 miles that way. I mean, maybe I can uh, squeeze this thing in here. I'm gonna do that later. I need to add some greasing nipples here. No clearance. Oh my god. Let's try this one.
Look at that. Nice set of threads in there. So that's it pretty much. I only needed these two fittings. Everything else is already where it's supposed to be. So let's check out what paints I have. Mm, red, maybe. Mm, radiator, white, uh, no. Orange, uh, no. Dark blue, yeah, I think dark blue. Okay, time lapse time. Okay, I think that's enough. Check this one out. Oh yeah, we got grease on this pin. Probably should take this off. Here's the hole for the grease fitting and the pushing hole is down there so the pushing hole is misaligned. Should have probably done this before, not after. I just finished painting the thing. Let's just pretend that that didn't happen. B 
perfect like nothing ever happened nobody will ever know about this so i got this thing painted so yeah overall this thing is finished now and the next thing would be testing it so yeah i'm gonna wait for the paint to dry out shouldn't take that long i'm guessing about uh two years maybe but anyway i will see you when this has dried up nicely and then we'll get to test it and hopefully everything works fine and we can wrap up this video by the way guys a quick tip here uh, when you're finished with uh, brushing or painting then just put the brush in something like this and uh, add windscreen washer fluid in here you have to make sure it's uh, the winter stuff so it doesn't freeze over the winter time and this way you don't have to buy new brush every time you do a paint job for example i've used these uh, these brushes this is the red one and the black one here i've used these for years What am I supposed to do? I can't even drive out of the workshop right now. Wow, getting this thing on here was really frustrating. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave this on here on this tractor and I'm just gonna buy a new tractor. So usually when I park this thing, I make sure that it's uh, straight and level. Then I can just back into it and hook it up, no problem. Doing this stuff alone is extra challenge. So I wanna kind of wrap up this video now. And uh, before I do that, let's try to pick up one of these logs. Yeah, I know they're kind of big, but maybe we'll manage somehow but first let's check for play let's uh, see how much did we achieve by doing all this work anyway let's try to pick that log up Okay, so I maxed out the hydraulics. This thing would not rise up. I'm not surprised. Look at this thing. It's probably... It probably weighs more than the tractor. This is one massive freaking log. Check this thing out. This is one log for to fit the entire grapple. Okay, guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to wrap this episode up now. I'm pretty sure it works. And... Uh, and I'm pretty happy that I finally got to fix this up.
But anyway, guys, I hope this video was interesting to watch. And as always, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.